Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, what we'll be doing is like uh, we'll be showing 3D models instead of the cubes in the real world. Okay, so just a demo of what we'll be doing is like we'll be showing the 3D model, and whenever uh, the reticle is visible, and when you tap on it, we'll be placing the model in that location. Okay, and uh, we'll be showing only one model this time. Okay, instead of showing multiple models. And by the way, I've installed, I've downloaded some of the models. Okay, from this website. This marketplace, and you can see there are different models also available. I don't know these three. Okay, as you can see, this model. If you would like to, if you would like to or download any different model, uh, I don't know why something this comes up. Anyway, when you click on uh, weird download model, okay, then it's gonna download the model, okay, and uh, it's gonna download the model in the GLTA format. There are different formats available for three D models like OBJ, FBX, etc. Uh, this site will only allow you to download the GLT of extension. You, you can convert it to different extensions again using uh, a blender, a tool like blender, etc. But uh, GLT is more performant, okay. And uh, that's it, I guess. And let us start with, with the coding, okay. So let me go to components. Let me copy this. And I'll just change stuff in this only, okay? This is XR hit model, and this will be, I guess, model, and this will be again model. I'll just do it here again. So just a minor changes I'm doing with uh, regards to names of each file and the places where we are referring the cube. Okay, nothing much big changes so that it's very easy for you to also be in sync what what, what I'm doing. Okay. Anyway, uh, so this is again gonna be model. Uh, save save. Now let me come to this first XR hit model. Here wherever we are referencing cube, I'll just make it a model. Okay. And wherever I'm referring cubes, I'll make it to models. Again set cubes. Will be set models. And I think if this is place cube, I'll make it again to place model. Copy. Where is it? Place model. Sorry about that. It should be place model. Okay. Uh, so this is it, I guess. And uh, by the way, like I told you, I'll not be showing multiple models. So I'll be just uh, clearing this out so that whenever we uh, place the model, it's going to basically take that model itself and change it in a different position. Okay. And uh, instead of showing multiple models, like I told you previously. Anyway, uh, so this is done. XR hit model is also there is no changes that need to be done in here. Now the thing is comes with model. Okay, I'll be going to documentation here for that. Uh, they have a specific documentation for this loading models itself. Okay, as I told you, like we have different kind of extensions also which we can use. And uh, just there are two ways of going about it. Okay, one is this uh, way of going about using a GLT uploader from three library. Okay. Another way is like they have very different way of going about again they have created an extension for extension library you can say for this okay uh, anyway first I'll just go with a one by one and do it okay first I'll just import all this stuff uh, let me come to model clear everything out let me paste this okay and let me come again and copy this part. I think suspense has to be imported. Slash druid. Okay, this is it. And uh, let's just see first whether there is no error or not. Whether there is an error or not. Okay. We come here. Uh, before that, I think like I always forget. I don't know why. But I need to create it out for that also. So XR hit model. Okay. 
model container and let me make it the default route again okay and let's see whether there is any error or not as you can see we have the model okay and i think i'm not sure whether you have noticed it or not i have i'm passing it uh, i'm passing the model the position here as you can see but i'm not using the position in the model this uh, component so i'll just destructure the position and pass this position to the primitive tag okay now let's see whether everything works fine let me refresh it again to be in the safe side enter here now when i right click on it okay i'm able to place a cube uh, sorry model i can change the location again as you have noticed it okay this is one of the way okay the other way is i feel it very much interesting frankly saying because it gives you a lot of uh, control okay if you had seen my playlist uh, basically the introduction of this playlist i have shown you the what it is building by the end of this playlist so you would like to change the colors of the models also okay so it's an interesting way of going about it okay we get the uh, kind of tags representing each of the meshes or objects you can say what basically is uh, we see what the model is composed of which kind of meshes and etc we have a lot of more granularity basically we got more control on it so we can change the uh, we can change those stuff inside like maybe we don't want to, uh, this mesh to cast shadow or maybe we want to change the color of the part of the geometry of the model okay so that's the way and you can use the glt extension you can basically come to here okay and whatever you would like uh, to have the glt of uh, the jsx uh, representation you can just like how we have the jsx representation you can have something similar you to drag it on model and it's going to show you okay just to be on the same page i do one thing i'll just uh, put the model okay which i just downloaded i guess just to show you as you can see we have the model something similar has to be done for all okay but uh, and but if you are downloading it from this marketplace itself they already have it you just go to react free fiber and copy jsx scene gra and it's copied and you have to come here and what i'll do is like uh, i'll just uh, come in this part out okay instead of deleting it just to uh, so that you can be also you can also check it out later okay but we'll be mainly focusing on this part now and i would like to ch uh, change the path okay and there's some called something called preload which is something you might be familiar with if you have done some front end development also like you're basically preloading the model okay and let me clear this stuff up okay uh, it should not change much okay but uh, let me again check it once more to be on the same page uh cool i'll just try it out now it's okay refresh yeah you able to see the model cool nice we can enter ar let's see whether everything looks fine yeah we able to place the model yeah we can able to change the location also Yes, done. It's working fine. I think this was the end of this playlist. I guess I don't think I've missed out anything. Okay, I'll just keeping. I'll be keeping this code commenter below. Okay, for your reference. And uh, I think this was it. I guess maybe I might tweak some stuff further in further videos. But I think this should be enough good to go for our scenarios. I guess. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching till here, and hope to see you in the next video. And bye.